Welcome back. I'm gonna save the game. Hey, look, it's Maxi. It's you. The greatest hero. I don't know why it doesn't change your like picture there. I don't know. Strange. I don't know. All right. Who is up here? Is this the mountain god or whatever you said? Is that Mr. Peanut? It kind of does look like Mr. Peanut. It's Mr. Peanut. He just took off his monocle and top hat. I forget. Whoa! What the hell was that? It was that thing. Oh, it's just a bell. Yeah. I'm making plans to woo and marry that bell. Can I read this? No. No, we don't have the right literature. I don't remember exactly what I'm supposed to do in here. So yeah. bear with me. I will. In fact, I make a blue roll my notes. Well, okay, well, I'll walk around. If anything interesting happens, scream. I'll let you know. Scream bloody murder. Ah, there it is. You it up? I found the door. I just walked around a corner. I was like, oh, fuck, there's a big door here with a bunch of locks on it. Perfect timing. I'm back from my nose blowing expedition. Excellent. Hello. Oh, Adamant's here. Adamant! Oh, wouldn't have expected to run up in here into you, Maxi. What are you doing? What 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 what's up? What are you doing in here? You're here to try and find the secrets lurking in Sha Snowpoint Why was it gonna Shadow Point Temple? <laughs> Snowpoint <laughs> Temple, aren't you? In Zelda. That's what my clairvoyance is. Oh, told you me. and your clairvoyance. You do tend to get mixed up in all kinds of strange goings on, Maxi. So many goings on. This door here, well, let's just say it's been, uh, let's, fuck, why do I always, like, fail at reading with Adam, man? Mm, they say behind it sleeps a Pokemon so great it could tow around the entity, entirety of the continents that lie of the south. Adam, man, you'll be okay. No matter what we do, this door just won't seem to open. Did you try knocking on well, it? that's good. What try if I tried to the open door? it? The stone plate and icicle plate you carry seem to be reacting to the door. But the door remains closed. I probably need other plates. Shit. We well, need more plates. Let's go. Can I teleport from here? Maybe you should do the dishes so your plates are nice and clean for the... Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. Wait. They can sing. They can dance. After all, this is well, France. Well, let's go. I wish you could teleport between areas. You didn't have to go back to the village and then go back here. I have a question. Yes. You know when Beauty and the Beast... When they said to try the gray stuff because mm -hmm. it was delicious. Yeah. What do you think that was? When I was younger, I thought it was like some kind of icing. It looks no way, man. It looked more like a gravy than an icing. But it was too goopy. But like, it, why would you just feed somebody gray icing? Because it was on top of a baked good or something. Or it's on top of a cracker, isn't it? But that was breakfast, supper, dinner. They weren't having dessert, right? You don't know. I'm going to look up what the gray stuff was. Uh, somebody's gonna know, right? <laughs> I mean, no. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we won't go there. We'll go here. What was the I think there's another lake there. No, there isn't another lake there. Stuff. There's lakes at the other area. Beauty and the Beast. What was the recipe for it? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's one of those recipes where they talk at you for 15 minutes before giving you the recipe. You know oh. that's a good recipe when. Yeah. When I was a young child, I used to think about recipes, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God. It looks like you're right. I hate you. Somebody's a recipe for the gray stuff, and it's like pudding mix and Oreos and shit. You know what? I think it, I don't think they ever explain it, though, so I think it's just people's interpretations of it. This is, this is, oh, 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 hold on. Hold on. There's a picture of it. It's like served with a bunch of savory things. You would think... That it would be savory, but everyone has it here as like an icing thing. You're ah, oh, you're so right. Oh, this one calls for chicken liver and sherry and onion. So this one is such a pate. Ew, I don't want liver. Liver's gross. Yeah, this one's more like a pate. But I think you're right. I think it's open to interpretation. Well, this free. Somebody should ask Belle what it tasted like. Oh no, it's mealy. <laughs> We had a conversation recently about Melee that I will talk about once I'm done. Okay. I don't suppose a grunt like you would even know, but I guess it behooves me to ask. Behooves. Do you know the Pokemon called Cresselia? Yeah, I don't really like it that much. Nobody but... uses the word behooves. I know it. Nobody. Well, I figured you'd know. I wouldn't expect any less from someone who managed to defeat me, even if it was just a fluke. Oh, I'm this person too. Cresselia is said <laughs> to be the very embodiment of the crescent moon. Yeah. Her feathers are called lunar feathers, and legend says that if you hold one as you fall asleep, you'll be visited with wondrous dreams. I didn't know Cresselia had feathers. 
I didn't either. It looks pretty smooth. Well, I call her a nightmare, that pesky Cresselia. Of course she would. She's descended upon Moonview Arena and caused my lord to hide itself away. I'm so worried about Electro that I can't even sleep. Never mind, dream. Yep. <laughs> Think you might be able to catch Cresselia and perhaps even claim one of those lunar feathers. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go pull them out one by oh, one. Oh, do catch that pesky flying croissant. It's oh, a that's flying croissant? That's like the best thing you've ever said. <laughs> that's true. Do it for my poor Electrode. Though I suppose Cresselia can't be all bad if she at least recognizes the uh, perfection of the arena looked... After with uh, loving care by the great Melee. Oh, man, now I really want a croissant with like chocolate on the inside. Oh, that'd be so good. Oh my god. Lindsay, go. make me a croissant right away. My nose is itchy. Cresselia's uh, here. You like this Pokemon? It's fine, yeah. I don't, I think it looks a little weird. I mean, yeah, it does. But I guess it's a weird monster. Precisely. I didn't know I had feathers. Uh oh. Uh, it's fucked up my controls. Oh, really? It does that? How come it's chirping and making dizzy signals when they could easily have made tweeting birds going around your head? See so yeah, how we were saying Chris, um, Chriselia, uh, Me Melee sucks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think we had a talk with BLG because they asked us what we thought of Melee and I was, I was scared, I was a little scared to say because I was like, like oh, oh no. they might like What him. if they think Melee is like an interesting I was like, character? I think, he's, I think he's really lame and they're like, oh, good. Yeah, he's, <laughs> so, tra he's trash. So yeah, we all think he's trash. Yeah. He's really one of those characters that you would think would have like a redeeming arc where it's like, oh, I suck at the start, but eventually I learned to be a better person. It's like, no, he just like, he's like an antagonistic for the sake of being antagonistic. Yep. And not in a fun way. Like no, Blackbeard from One Piece or something. Where well, it's like, like he, oh, there's sometimes there's, here. there's bad guys that are like just fun. Fun to hate. And then there's, and then he's there's not just even somebody, a bad guy though. And then there's just somebody who's just a drag of a human being. That's melee. Yeah. Oh my god, Lindsay, you're being a drag of a human being right now. Oh, nice hit. Thanks. Catch the Cresselle. I need it to stop healing itself. Oh, right. I was gonna ask you, actually, if there was any of these fuckers that healed and that Here he is. Question. Here she is. Oh, it actually has a sex. What a thing to say. <laughs> what? It does. Usually legendaries don't have them. I know, but sometimes when I listen to that sentence, I don't think of it as gender, but as, like, ha oh, having like, a that sex. That Pokemon has sex. Oh, they have one sex. How was it? Eh. How was your one sex, Cresselia? It's fine. Stop doing that! You're kind of a thorn in my side. You're kind of a thorn. You're kind of a melee right now, and yeah, I don't much a, care for you. You're a bit of it. a melee flying croissant. Stop healing and just get caught. Yeah, that's what Unless I'm you want me to just kill it. No, we well, have to catch them, right? I don't know. I I never killed one yet, so How would you complete know. your Pokedex if you didn't catch them? I did catch them. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Oh. Like, wouldn't you game over or something if we were, like, trying to get Arceus and you killed this thing? Uh, I feel like if you if you kill it, it probably just, like, comes back later. Wow. Well, we because should, it wouldn't lock you out from that. We should try to catch them because if we do end up doing Arceus, it would be very annoying to have to go back and do these again. Yeah. Well, so I I, oh, my God. Uh, stop. Uh, You're doing that right into the microphone. And I've had enough of it. <laughs> Cut that out. I do! Oh, don't it's work for poor editing man. I got the dread plate. <laughs> and sometimes I have to leave it, like, kinda in. Max, it's your plate. Because, like, that was contextual. Like, if I cut out your edit, then it, your burp, then it's just me screaming here. at you for no reason. Well, well, this is unexpected. Instead of a lunar feather, you got some kind of plate. The plate that is Max's, because it's the dread plate. Because he dreads to. Does Lindsay edit burp this. too much? Yes. Let me know. I do feel power <laughs> emanating from it, though. If any, In any case, if Cresselia did not gift us with any of her feathers, then I suppose she thought we had no need for them. Maxie looks like she's not listening at all. Like, wh wh oh, you guys are here. Hi. Oh, I was looking at this plate. Oh, not bad at all, Grunt, though I suppose anyone with enough luck <laughs> to pass the Great Melee... Should be able to handle at least that much. That was weird, Melee. Thinking about it, a halfway competent person uh, like you might uh, actually make a decent sparring partner to my lord. I grow stronger still. Wow. Will you go back to the settlement, <laughs> tell the others about the feathers that we didn't get? Okay. We'll tell you about I the feathers. I won't do that, that but thank get. you. I'm not going to do nothing. Three more plates. Three more plates, and then we'll have a full set of All dishes right, that we can I don't think we, we need to be here anymore. Store. Okay. We should probably heal. Run, Lindsay, run! 
I'm running as fast as I can. Gingerbread. You know what would make it faster? If you were running on a treadmill that was going forward. Would that make me go faster? It would, yeah. Oh. Think about it. What, what did, you, did you think of it? No. Why not? I don't know. I'm Lavington. You oh, caught, you caught oh, Griselda. Oh, where's the feathers, though? Oh, actually, I should have stayed there. Oh, no. It Dirt. looks like you found it, Cresselia. There it is. Good work, Lindsay. Thanks. I'm going back to the What village. do you want to do now? You want to catch, catch a Dark movie? Dark Rye for this. Dark Rye is cool. We could just catch Dark Rye anyway. Dark Rye is a cool Pokemon. It's kind of cool, yeah, yeah. Yes. I don't mind it. It's one of the better legendaries, I think. I think it's kind of neat. Uh, is there a... Shut up! <laughs> Is there a difference between like legendaries like Mewtwo and Palkia and then like the other ones like Mesprit and Darkrai where they're like not the main legendaries? Oh, what did you do? Sorry, I hit the pop thingy. You're a troublemaker. Um, there is. What's the difference? Like what? Isn't there? There's just, there's like there's like legendaries and then there's like I forget what they call mythical ones or something. So is Darkrai, Darkrai a mythical? I feel like that's like a, just kind of a one deal kind of thing. Okay, a uh, one deal. That festival attended by everyone in the clans in the galaxy alike. Oh, it was wonderful. Nice festival. Being able to spend time with Ice Skin in front of everyone was like a dream come true. Max, Lena, oh, I'm sorry, Paulina here has Bye something Lina. she wants to discuss with you. What is it? That's right, you should also hear this, Arita. It seems something is once again very much amiss on Fire Spit Island. Is something fishy? Oh, Fire Spit Island? Is it a fish? Yes, that's what I said. Yeah. Fire oh, Spit dear. Island. You seem reluctant to get involved. Just do it anyway. It's just very hot there. Take a fan. Ma, you speak in such disparaging terms of the seat of my Lord Arcanine calls home. At the seat. Yeah, that. Wow. Sentence. And to think you call yourself <laughs> our leader, Rita. You're useless. Oh, I didn't. Oh, stop that silly old nickname in front of the others, won't you? Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. It's just an old habit. Who made that pling noise? Well, anyway, you heard her. Please get to Fire Spit Island so we can research this. Please hurry. It's melting. It's melting. Please hurry. What's melting? What's melting? Please hurry. Okay. Lynn, I think I have an idea. Yeah. What if you went to Fire Spit Island? Oh, that's such a good idea. What if you went right there to Fire Spit Wait, Island? Wait, hold on. I could just fly there. Do you think Moltres is there? You know, just hanging around, no. being a Moltres. It's probably like Heat Ran. Are the legendary birds in this game? No. Is it Mewtwo? No. What about like Mewtwo with a mustache? Yes, but he's very hard to find. He hangs out with Bulbasaur with lipstick. They're, they're kind of a big deal. They're what you call a power couple. Hmm. Hi guys, what Hello. are you guys doing here? They're not what you call a power couple. No, they're not. Neither a of they're them not has a, a mustache. Hey, Max, thanks for coming so far out of your way. You're welcome. Maxie, I mean, uh, sorry. Ward and Ice Skin, wasn't Lena joining us? She's, she's just over there. In the lava? Oh, yes, about that. Um, It seems she wanted some time with her lord, so she asked us to check the lava dome sanctum. Without her. Without her. What the? No <laughs> she knows Fuckin I can't stand sweltering burn. places like this. Fuck her. I'm sure she means no ill will. The Warden of the Lord of the Isles is such a kind, gentle soul. I love her. Anyway, Maxie, shall we go? Might as well get this over with. Might as well. Might Let's as well. Go. Let's go right on in this cave and we'll see Moltres there. I think it's Heat Ran. Oh, Probably. Mol Moltres. That would be my guess. I don't really remember. Or maybe it's Wormadam. There it no, is. No, it's Heat Ran. Whoa, ba, go, ba, go, whoa, ba, whoa, whoa. It's a Globo. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa! Go, whoa, 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 whoa! Could I? Whoa, 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 whoa! Watch out, Lynn, it's because some sort of heat ran. Could protecting you stop? It. How do you throw Pokemon at it? I think I need to wait for it to. Ow, fuck off. Stop murdering you? Yeah. It's kind of in the middle of doing that right now. Ball of mud! Now you can't lose. Maybe you have to throw a ball of mud at it. Maybe I do. Considering all the balls of mud on the ground, you might have to throw a ball of mud. You're gonna get full of mud, sir. Let's then you'll see. know it. Mud, 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 mud. I don't know if you knew this, but ground's good against fire. Would you like me to explain why ground's good against fire to you? 
Yeah. What you see, if you have like a like a fire and mm -hmm. you're roasting marshmallows, yeah, and you want to put the fire out, uh -huh. what would you do? Sit on it. No, you hurt your bum bum. Oh. You gotta either bury it in dirt, or like put water on it, and those are good against fire types. Oh. And rock. Uh, yeah, I guess rocks kind of work. Kind of like dirt. Although I think rocks resistant to fire, but I don't think it's super effective <laughs> to fire. Like, I don't think rock moves are super effective to fire types. You think? Yeah. Okay. Hey, you caught heat ran. I caught it. Nicely heat ran. Thank you for explaining it while I caught it. You're welcome. Now, you should nickname <laughs> it. You should nickname heat ran. I'm not going to do that. Call it Mob Psycho 100. I'm not doing that. I got an iron plate. Look at it. Look hey, at it. I Look can now go back and get that big boy. The big boy? Yeah, because I need. I think I needed the iron plate in order to get into that door. Ooh. Ew, at least the heat's let up a bit. Dude, it, it looks to... pretty hot in here. Look at her fucking face. <laughs> she's she's struggling with both Arcanon and Heatran spewing flames. A boat on a holla 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 hot hot hot. It certainly does get a little hot hot hot. It's a little hot in here. More nice can I have to say? Do you think there was any need at all of me to be here? Maybe. Yeah, you had to be here to be hot. I'm pretty hot. Yep. Yeah, of course there was. I keep forgetting that I'm him. After all, you're the leader of the Pearl Clan, and this trouble cropped up right around the seat of one of your clan nobles. So, um, yeah, it was best that you, you were here. It's admirable of you to look after your clan's affairs. Really, it is. Do you really think so? I was wondering if it might not be re uh, revenge for all the times I pushed Lena to train her Growlithe harder. It probably was. No, I never, I'd never do that. I, I don't like revenge. It sucks. Even if Warden Polina may have mentioned something about the need to, um, tough love. I love tough love. It feels good. I thought so. To think she was so patient and kind with Growlithe, but when it comes to me, a bit of a bitch. Well, Maxie, you did great. Uh, just head back. Get get out of here. Let's get at all. Okay. I'm leaving. Do you think, what if Arita came here and she forgot that Ice Can's name wasn't Ice Cream and she started licking him? I don't like that at all. Why not? I don't. She thought he was a delicious ice cream cone. She didn't. And she was like, that'll cool me down. She just starts licking him. Whoa, fucking nine tails That's over there. That's a big there. nine tails. A oh, big old of course, tails. I fucking hate invisible walls. Why uh, is there a need for this invisible wall? I don't know. <laughs> hey, that lady's down there. Also, I think there's a unknown somewhere up there, but I don't want to get it. An unknown? I guess you don't know what's there then. You can't just be like that, Lim. It do be like that, though. If I'm just like, I bet, like, so Sotha here is an unknown. It's like, yeah, of course there is. There's lots of unknowns. There's unknowns all over the place. I don't know what the point I'm trying to make is. I don't let's... know either. What are you trying to do to me? I don't know. Uh, let's see. We need to go. To the ice place, here. right? No, we're going to go here first. Mm. Before we leave. Take a little detour. Yeah. Because we got to go get another one of those fairies. Fairies. Or like the little things that look like Mew, but they're different. Have you ever taken a fairy? What like does that mean? Across a body of water. Yes. Yes. Was, was it fun? I think so. I think we went to visit uh, to British Columbia. <gasps> Wait. Wouldn't that be a really long ferry? No, from we Nova went Scotia there and Columbia? we were out visiting in British Columbia and we took a ferry to some islands or something. Oh. And I remember because my parents gave me coins to play the X-Men um, arcade machine that was on the ferry. Hell yeah. So that kept me pretty occupied. I took a ferry to Maine once. I played as Nightcrawler. Like crawler. the only time I traveled outside of Nova Scotia. Wow. Should probably do that again sometime. Go to Maine? No, just travel outside of Nova Scotia. Oh, yeah, it'd be nice. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah, I haven't been outside of Canada. I was once, but it was the only time I traveled out of the province. I have never. Unless my but plane, you went to like, British, you went to British Columbia. That's a lot further. It's further, yes. Than I went. Yes. Like even though you haven't traveled outside of the country, and I have, you traveled a lot further than I did. Ooh, yeah. Like you took a ferry all the way from Nova Scotia to British Columbia. That's a, that's a long ferry. That's like halfway across the world, technically. I'm really having trouble it? with these controls. <laughs> there we go. That would be like halfway across the world, right? No, halfway across the world would probably be Japan. Oh, we should go there. I would I would assume that would be halfway across the world, pretty much, give or take. Of course, the place we want to go to is like the furthest distance that we could possibly travel. Of course. 
Cool. Neat. Wait. Where's everybody? Oh, this isn't the cave, I guess. Where is everybody? It's, it's a ghost town I in thought here. this might have been the cave, but it's Not nothing. Not a soul. Not a soul. Not a single soul to be seen mm -mm. in this cave. Well. Guess you should go is, Okay, that isn't the lake. Okay, I'm stupid. Sorry. We should go to Ice Sleepy Shore. Go up there to Ice Sleepy Shore. There's somebody's satchel. No. They got sleepy and they left their I'm satchel sleep there. Because I'm sleepy. As I sleepy shore. And then we're gonna go um to another lake, I guess. Ooh, I like lakes. Do you like yeah. lakes or oceans better? Uh, to, to do what exactly? To swim in. To swim in probably a have lake. Have a picnic. As long as it's not like too icky and gunky. And have a picnic. Picnic? Yeah, you having a picnic and going for a swim. I don't know. It'd be nice to go to a lake. I like lakes. Sand's, sand is kind of annoying. So. I mean, you, you can have a lake with sand. It's true, but it's less of it. I went to lakes with sand before. <laughs> but I, I agree, too. lakes. So, lakes over beaches. Beaches are generally speaking. sandy and you can get pulled out to sea if you're not careful. I don't know if I've ever gone to the beach and like swam, if that makes sense. I stay places where I can still touch. Like usually, and usually it's off to the side. Usually if I'm going out on like the ocean ocean, I'll get up to the point where I can still touch. Like I'll never yeah, go no. beyond that. No, I don't either. I'm like, no, I can touch pretty much anywhere. Sometimes there's areas at the beach like where you can swim, but it's like an off. It's like off the beach. Yeah. If that makes sense. Like a little... Like a little li river leading up to the beach or something. Yeah. I'll swim there. Oh, yeah. I got no problem with that. Yeah. It's just the ocean is scary, man. Like when you're out there and the waves are waving. You're oh. like crashing India. They're like, hello. And I'm like, I don't want to. I want to touch. I don't want to go in the touch. ocean. Don't like, don't like water. I want to touch bottom. Much. Let me touch bottom. Let me touch your bottom. I like water when I know I'm safe. I'm like, okay. I. It'd be pretty hard for me to be stupid and drown. Lakes do have their own things, though. Yeah. Leech leeches kind of suck, but they're not the end of the world. Yeah, snapping turtles. Snapping turtles are the scariest thing I can think of. And depending on the lake, like, some lakes are, like, nice, and they just have, like, rocks on the bottom. Yeah. Or, but then there's other ones that's just like, oh, there's, like, Gook. Gook. lots of mud. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to touch the mud. I remember there was a lake I used to go to that had clay, and I like I to like pick that. it up with my feet and play with it. Oh. Well, we might as well yeah, get you wouldn't want to get bit by a snapping turtle. That would hurt. No, no. That would smart your little toesies. Do you think they could take your finger off? Probably. <gasps> I don't know, but I would think so. They're like freaking dinosaurs, man. They're like, they're like. I remember, dinosaurs. there was one out at our lake when we used to like have a cabin on the lake, and it was getting a baby, a baby duck. Oh no! And my dad saved it and oh, took really? it to a wildlife place to so they could care for it and fix it. Aw. Yeah. That was nice. He took on a snapping turtle. He like took the baby duck. That'd be scared. And it got hurt, but he took it somewhere and they fixed it up. That's good. It was nice. It is nice. Oh. Ah! It's the pink one. Hello. K K the best one? Question mark. Um. Yeah, probably if you had to choose. Got some sweet dreads. I like the tails on them, but the tails are all the same. I wouldn't mind chewing on those dreads. They look a little bubblegummy. Oh. I don't want to chew on it. Why don't you want to chew on Mestris? It's bubblegum tendrils. Dead. Yeah. Shefty. Why did you bring Shefty out? I don't know. I think we were supposed to keep Shefty until he evolved and they got rid of him, but you brought got a, rid of her. You brought a bat to a knife fight. I certainly did. Now, I'm that. scared to kill it. So I'm gonna use this yeah, you've been one. doing pretty good at not killing them considering all those times that we killed things by mistake. I guess, yeah, so far so good. Although that might kill it. Oh, yeah, oh. recover. Great. Great. You know what? It's in the yellow. Should you throw a ball? Yeah, I'm gonna. I got lots of balls. Go, ball, go. Go, go, go. But it, oh, ah, that's a good, that's a good fine. thing. Yeah, we got it. We did it, got Mesprit. Nickname it Bumblegum Tendrils. I'm not naming it anything. Why not? Well, if, if they go on our team, we have to name them. That's the rule. I need to catch one more. So, like, if you get to the point where we need to ha put the legendaries into fight, we're mm -hmm. naming them. Okay. I, that's a call I'm making. Mm. And that one will be Bubblegum Tendrils. We got a lot of side quests. You sure do. Uh, The Darksome Nightmare. Where is that? Cliffs. The Darksome Nightmare. Where is that exactly? It's a bit of a nightmare. Not here. Because we can catch a dark cry if you'd like. I mean, I like dark cry. Okay. 
Can we name it Bubblegum Tendrils 2? Why do you do this? What do you mean? What about Bazooka Joe? You know what? That might be fine. Did you used to get those Bazooka Joe gum? With the little comic book in them? Yeah, and they always sucked. Yeah. They and were the never gum funny. got really hard really fast. Yeah, there, yeah, it was that kind of gum where it's like, mmm, yummy flavor, and then like 10 seconds later, it's, it's like, this rock. is useless to me. You don't like gum. I like gum. No, but a lot, not like used gum. Oh, it's disgusting? Nobody likes used gum, though. Yeah, but like not to the same extent that you- Oh, it disgusts you, me. Like I'll like be chewing gum and I'll stick my tongue out to show you it and you'll throw up it's all vile. over the place. Like everywhere. Just vile. Just everywhere. Okay. Well, we'll go back. It'd there. really suck to get gum in your hair. Probably. Like it really stuck in it. I've never done it, but. No? No, I don't like gum. I don't like sticky. Like if I'm chewing gum, as soon as it comes out of my mouth, it's going in the garbage. Do you ever do the thing where you blow a bubble really big and then it pops and it's like all over your face? Um. Oh, probably. Would that bother you since you don't like gum? It would bother me. I wouldn't freak out or anything, but it sucks. <laughs> I just like to think he just starts screaming. <laughs> How did this happen? Uh, I'll go here. <laughs> you just scream until somebody takes it off for take you. Take it off, take it off. Look at the side ducks. Where? Oh, I see them. They're over there. It's kind of like in Diamond mm, and Pearl when, when the side ducks are blocking yeah, you away. Yeah, they a reference of some sort. They've got a headache. They've got a splitting headache. Um, hello? <laughs> Hi. The bird was like, I'm not going any higher than this. What other Pokemon would be fun to have rides of? Like in this game. Riding a Pokemon? Yeah. Arcanine. Love riding mm. Arcanine. Yeah, Arcanine would be cool. What if there was like an underwater Pokemon you could ride? That'd be pretty fun. I went Melodic. Melodic would be cool, or a Mantine. Or Mantine, yeah. This Mantine's pretty cool. Oh, what if you could ride Lugia and it could fly, but it could also like dive under the sea? Oh, that'd be neat. That'd be sweet. <laughs> You would have less Pokemon to ride, but you'd have like one of the coolest Pokemon nah, to but ride. That, that could be like an end game reward, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that'd be like one of the last things you could earn. It's kind of like how it just did, like, it Breath does of the it Wild, all. I was hoping like maybe you get like a Skyloft at yes, the end. Yes, that'd be great. But then it would kind of trivialize a lot of things. Yeah, but if it was the final reward, then it would be like at least you have something really cool to show off. That's true. You just wander the land. It's like when you play the DLC and you get the motorbike. Mm hmm. Or you could just ride. It's like, on... well, I have nothing else to do though, because I mean, you could explore and go into like all the little runes, but I didn't want to. I suppose equally as cool to riding a sky laugh would be if you rode on Groose from. No, I don't think you but... could piggyback you around. <sighs> I don't like Groose that much. Groose rules. Is dingus. You need to get on Team Groose. He's fine enough. He's like the best Zelda character. I named. I caught it. I named a Pokemon after him once. You did? Tux. What tux, happened to it? Tux, oh, wait, no, we weren't, we weren't playing a Nuzlocke, so he didn't die. Is his name Toxtricity? Yeah. His name? Yeah, his, re his real name is Groose. What was yours' his name? You won too. Oh, I don't even remember. It wasn't Groose. One more plate. Because, yeah, you didn't use yours. Or did you? Did you use yours? I don't think. If I did, it was minimal. Yeah, he's mine. He was a good boy. I had the yellow one. Yellow. Yeah, you had there was like the upbeat and downbeat version or whatever the heck they were called. Yeah, I didn't realize it was yellow. I knew mine was like bluish purple. Yeah, yours is purple and blue, and mine was purple and yellow. Oh, okay, I got it. I yeah. like the purple and yellow combo. No, you're wrong. Groose is better. He looked like the Space Jam guy. One of the, the monsters. Blue one. Yeah, the blue one. The lame one. <laughs> what do you mean lame? <laughs> you know. He was stupid. You know. He was dumb. But he was a cool fellow. He was mine. You smelled his armpits once. It was like, going Ew. on a while. Should we cut or are you just going to cut it? I'm just cutting as it as I see fit. Okay. Who needs the next time a game face when we have each other? You know what I mean? That's true.